guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode four of Skip and Loper. So let's kind of get started in three, two, one, go. Hi, baby. Oh, puppy. <laughs> oh. Baby, no. Really? How does it make you feel? Like, oh, does it touch her soul? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that we're finally talking about this because it would have been weird if they would have stretched this out. child star so of course yeah he's gonna be good the thing is shima doesn't want to join and i don't think sumi has the heart to like persuade him Yeah, but I don't think he wants to be known for that, though. Exactly. And I'm guessing for him, 
acting really isn't his forte anymore. And that is okay. Oh, honey. That's because she didn't really have time to answer anything. Nervous oh. office, please. Bro, I'm wondering how, because, I mean, like, volleyballs are not really as hard as, like, a soccer ball, you know, a golf ball, basketball. I mean, basketballs can be a bitch when they hit you, but, you know, I, I think any of can be. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. <laughs> it's so sweet. It's a beautiful dream. Goodbye. Once I got in their shelf, I can choose together. Oh my god, girl. <laughs> I mean okay you pass you fall whatever you always celebrate because you tried your best eat up <laughs> I know, I bet. 
It looks so much better than the lasagna that I had. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, sorry. Yeah, but you know, because they are such a good friend, she can't tell you. That's friend code. Uh huh. Did you see the way her pinky sparkled? Oh my god, like that's so fucking cute. Because it's a promise with not only your best friend, but your potential love and touch because you two love each other and it's so fucking cute. That's all wrong. Why would you go there and square the thermostat? Oh, my Oh, now you are. Okay. <laughs> it's literally me at work. Like, yes, let me work my butt off. Oh my god. Work to grind, grind to work. Ugh. Oh, don't you hate when a coworker is also sick? And then that's like double, triple the work that you gotta do. Ugh, I'm sorry. <laughs>
Well, damn. Can you make it unless you run? Should we take a taxi? No, oh my God. <laughs> It's cute shapes, cute. Beautiful. That's why you should always be in the moment. It's okay. At least you got to see that pretty sunset. Damn, I thought she wouldn't have the dream anymore. Oh. <laughs> uh, another bus. Oh my god. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> Good dreams and good vibes.
Oh, and she learned a lot from you as well. Yeah, please get enough sleep. Get the bags from under your eyes away. It's not good. But like, what the hell happened between the last time I talked to her? Oh my god. He's right. <laughs> you know how, like, okay, in this sailor uniform show, like, no matter what, uh, what's her face did between everyone who she um became friends with and talked to like she ended up gaining something from them. that's the same thing with the show and such the characters that sumi ends up meeting she ends up like getting them to gain something while she also gains something inside as as like a package deal and i think that's really sweet and adorable like oh my god because she learns you freaking things every single week i love the fact that you know yes someone from the student council president who has a busy schedule like I, uh, psh, anyone else a certain person right here right now that you're seeing you know hey, hey, nudge nudge who's hella freaking busy sometimes who doesn't always really have time for everything uh, but that person, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, does not plan her schedule all the time um, because she's not like that. But it's always at the end of the day, you do want to be in the moment. I mean, you know, once again, hitting and nudge, nudge, when she comes from home from work, she is tired as hell. And then, you know, she has to come home and do like several videos in a day. And she only gets like one to two days off. And, you know, she has to be this somewhat perfect person every single day even though <laughs> nudge nudge not perfect but she tries her both her her best every single day and the fact is that you know in the end student council surprise or member tends up having this dream of being late for the bus and then finally with this dream you know when you're like yeah we can wait 15 minutes for it and such and you know you got a little distraction aka sumi cat with her and, and in the end you know no more bad dreams all good thoughts and vibes and everything for her and in the end she's telling sumi like yeah maybe you really shouldn't spend your time with this long behind massive thing of a schedule because you know, later on in life, like, the things you do, if you're always on a consistent schedule, yes, you are going to miss things out in your life. And so I'm very happy that, you know, in a way, they both were able to get that, you know, lesson taught to them in different ways. One of them by being in that moment where Sumi says, like, oh, hey, look, and such, and the opposite of Sumi getting told, you shouldn't do that. I don't think that's a good idea. Now, um... <laughs> for Shima, uh, learning more about like his acting past and everything, seeing that he really did it more so for his mother instead of the initially like, oh yeah, he liked it, but he was doing it for his mom. I think that's really sweet. I do hope in the next couple of weeks that we do know a little bit more about his mom because something kind of really just tells me that his mom possibly passed away. And I think, you know, possibly when he was doing acting, either it made him want to... um 
continue on to acknowledge his mother or I think because the death maybe was and this is just a prediction so don't even like you can give me a hint if I'm right but I feel like I'm wrong on this um if his mom did pass away in in order to honor her memory it's like okay I want to take a step back from this like this is something that I was doing for her and I feel like since she is now gone and out of my life, I should not really be, you know, doing it anymore. And that sometimes happens with like pretty much anyone with what they do, especially, you know, because our parents are our biggest cheerleaders at the end of the day. And when they're gone and it's just you, how can you become that biggest cheerleader for yourself? Yes, you have other friends and family, you know, being there like, yes, you got this. Let's go. Like, I, I'm, I'm here for you, but it's very different when it is a mother or a father or both. And they're there supporting you from beginning to end. And they want the best for you. And of course, because, you know, that's the, that's the rule. That's your parents. They always want the best thing for you and such. But hopefully, I want to say by episode six, we maybe get something. But... Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of Skip and Loafer. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Oh, excuse me. Enjoy the fashion squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode five. Bye, guys.